News out of Mississippi is resonating here in Raleigh. A grand jury decided not to indict Emmett Till's accuser on charges of kidnapping or manslaughter related to his death 70 years ago. His accuser, Carolyn Bryant Donham, kept quiet for years, then told her story to a scholar at Duke. WRL's Julian Grace spoke to him today and shares his first impressions of this decision. Well, there's been a lot of reaction to the Mississippi grand jury's decision not to charge Carolyn Bryant Dunham, and we found out what that decision means to some. We will never forget Emma Till. I don't think so. I don't think so, uh, because it speaks to things that we care about very deeply. Just last week, you people were Carol. looking for 88-year-old oh, Carolyn Bryant Carol Dunham, Dunham, who some believed at one point lived in the Triangle. It was nearly 70 years ago. She claimed a teenage boy from Chicago named Emmett Till made sexual advances toward her. Till was later beaten, lynched, and thrown into a Mississippi River by Donham's husband and brother-in-law. The brothers were never convicted, and today a grand jury decided there wasn't enough evidence to indict Dunham on charges of kidnapping and manslaughter. I had never thought she was telling the truth. In court. Back in 2008, Jim Dunham Crow gave Duke Arthur Dr. Timothy B. Tyson her only known interview. Tyson later wrote the book called Blood of Emmett Till, detailing Dunham's role. Tonight, Tyson shared his thoughts on the grand jury's decision. The decision does is give us an uh, opportunity to examine honestly the racial chasm in American life and the vast racial disparities in education and health care and uh, criminal justice. I asked Tyson if Dunham ever expressed any remorse. He tells me he couldn't read her mind or gauge her true feelings. Reporting in Raleigh, Julian Grace, WRAL News.